I had so much fun opening up the last LitJoy box that I can't wait until January. So I reached out to LitJoy and asked them to send me one of the older boxes that I missed, and I told them to rush. That's what I call expedited shipping. Stick around, and we'll go through the Legends and Lore crate by LitJoy. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Well, it's no secret that I absolutely loved the Dark Arts box by LitJoy. And like I said, I could not wait till January's release of the, I think it's the Sweet Treats box. So I went back to LitJoy and asked them to send me one of the other box, box sets that I actually missed, the Legends and Lore crate. So, um... This is still available on, um, on LitJoy's uh, subscription service. You can actually just go and purchase the box by itself. You don't actually have to subscribe. Um, and to me, honestly, I, I mean, maybe they just didn't have a whole lot of interest in this particular box. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what's inside because I've tried not to look. Um, but I'm very interested to open this up and share it with you guys. So let's dive right in. Now, after how much fun I had with the last box, I have looked into a bunch of the other subscription services, just trying to figure out if any of them would, would kind of give me what I'm looking for. And to be honest with you, I'm really on the fence. Um, there are some things, you know, I, I see box openings and I see a few things I like and a few things I don't. And, you know, some things I'm interested in, some things I'm not. And that's been my, my biggest hesitation with doing a subscription service. Because do I really want all the extra stuff that I'm not interested in? You know, you're, you're basically letting somebody else pick you items that they think or interesting or neat or whatever and then they're just giving them to you um, the last box I did the dark arts box I mean everything in that box hands down amazing loved it if um, if that's how the box all of these boxes are I mean again guys I'm not going anywhere but I do want to try out another one so do me a favor um, first and first and foremost uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, all right? I mean, guys, I'm trying to push out as much content as possible to keep you guys entertained. Um, I, there's a, so much in my collection to share that I haven't even scratched the surface on. So um, subscribe, click the bell notification because I'm constantly trying to push out new stuff. And there's going to be times where um, I throw out an extra video here. I'm doing shorts for Christmas, um, stuff like that, that you'll get notified by, uh, from if you've got that bell notification clicked. Um, and then comment below. Let me know. Give me some comments about subscription services because honestly, guys, this is the only one I've tried. I don't really know. Um, I've watched videos. You know, I'm taking other people's impressions, but this is the only one that I've actually experienced. So I will tell you, um, I sh guess we should showcase the outside of the box because their boxes are absolutely amazing. I mean, they are beautiful boxes. They put so much detail into um, the, all the, the artwork on the outside, everything that, that goes onto these boxes. Um, I mean, they're just amazing, guys. It's, I mean, it's kind of uh, almost, I haven't thrown away the last one. So, so uh, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to showcase it somehow because it's just so pretty. I mean, it, it really is. And I definitely learned something from the last video, and that is not to t put that white background <laughs> facing the camera because, boy, did that play with, uh, with the editing. So uh, let's remove that. So let's dive right in. First thing we've got is some paper product. Uh, we've got the Tales of Beetle the Bard. And this is a little fold out. And if you look, okay, so I see what they do. All right, in the dark arts box, they gave you a newspaper, right? And that newspaper, um, you know, had the different pages. But what they do, this is kind of like the cheat sheet. It shows you what's in this box and, and kind of gives you, you know, little details as to everything that's in the box. So, um, and then 
gives you the glimpse of the, the upcoming box. So very, very neat. I didn't catch that on the first one, but I've figured it out now. So not going to look at this because I don't want to be, uh, you know, give them um, any, give away anything from um, surprising me for uh, what's what's coming out of this box. So um, let's reach in and we'll grab this uh, little brown box. Nice little uh, bow on the top here. And let's open this sucker up and oh, 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 okay. All right, so in here we have got, I'm assuming, what would be the Sorcerer's Stone. Now, I will tell you, I have the Sorcerer's Stone back there. It's out of, out of camera, but I have it. You guys have probably seen the video where I opened it. And my comment was the coloring. The coloring of the Sorcerer's Stone from Noble Collection seemed off to me, right? I mean, it's more amber than red. I, I went back and I've watched the movie now, and I can say with 100% with accuracy, it's definitely more red than what the Noble Collection's replica is. This is much closer to the actual color of the Sorcerer's Stone. And I absolutely love this. It's great. I mean, it's it's a I mean, little a little polished piece of of probably I don't want to say this is glass. This might be like uh some kind of a, an acrylic uh, of some sorts. Maybe it is glass. I don't know, but very pretty stone. Uh, I think that I'm not going to display that one in the box. I am more than likely going to keep, put that one on the shelf outside of the box because it hides uh, too well inside the box because um, it falls down in there. Um, next thing, uh, this one's staring me in the face, so let's look at this. What do we have here? So let's, oh, it looks like I'm going to need my knife out again. Let's cut this open. So now on the outside of this, I mean, you've got the, the the twisted snakes, right? I mean, and it and it has, I mean, texture. You can feel all the different leaves and uh, and snakes, and they've got these jeweled eyes. I mean, it's the same on both sides. Um, but I don't know what this is exactly. I don't know if it's uh, some kind of a book um, or if it's a, a journal. I think we'll leave that out since I may need it again. And. Oh yeah, it's it's a journal, and if you look inside, the chamber has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware! It's what it says on on every page in here. So you've got like a little notebook journal, and it's got a little uh, little ribbon divider in here so that you can save your place inside. Now, I don't have a ton of use for this, but I do think that this will look amazing on the shelf. Um, it does have some really great, I mean, like a metallic texture to it and uh, the, the little green jewels in the eyes and everything. I, I think this is really, really cute. I will find a place for it. I think it might go well with the dark art stuff that I've currently got staged off screen there, but um, we'll, we'll see. Now this, all right, if you look at this box. So this box has... Basically, a uh, scenes from uh, from the um, uh, this would be from the Prisoner of Azkaban, and if you look at this, you've got the shrieking shack with the uh, with the buck and the the the, uh, the wolf. Well, actually, this would be the the dog, because right over here is the wolf and the whomping willow, and then you've got the change of seasons, and there's the whomping willow along with Harry. And, uh, and some other people, oh no, this, I don't believe this is actually Harry. I think this might be the, um, oh, the Harry's father and his friends that are walking here. I mean, that's what it appears to be because the, I don't recognize the other ones. And I know that the young Harry kind of did look, or um, young, uh, James Potter kind of did look similar to Harry, uh, except for the hair color. So and then on the top. You've got basically uh, like spinning shadows around the moon of, of the different animals. So, so let's open this up and see what we've got inside here. Uh, it looks like it opens right over here. Oh, okay. So we've got a, a mug. All right. This will be my first mug. There are a ton of great mugs out there that I would definitely like to add to my collection. Um, primarily the there's a <laughs> there's a you can only find it at i think it's universal japan 
and it is a chocolate frog and it's the mug looks amazing if you haven't seen it look it up because really really cool i've um, got like a chocolate frog uh, almost like jumping out of the mug uh, really great but basically this mug is the exact same uh, picture scheme that's on the outside of the box so i mean you can you can see all the detail they put into it really really great mug i think i'm going to display that side out and facing outward because I really love that scene of the uh, shrieking shack and the the uh, the doe and the wolf and and the uh, in Sirius there. So really like that one. That is a that is a great piece. Don't need the box for that one. Let's this one's on top. So we will go with this one next. And nothing special about the box other than it says magical collection. So let's open this up and take a look. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I have seen these before. I didn't know they were part of this box, but I have seen these before on LitJoy's site. So, um, what we have here are, uh, let's see the best way to get these out. There we go. You've got some, some uh, bookends. So, and specifically, bookends depicting the, the three brothers and death. I mean, look how amazing those look. I mean, together. Oh, here, let me scoot them back, guys. Sorry, didn't realize I was so close to the camera and you wouldn't be able to appreciate them. But those look absolutely amazing. I cannot see me putting them on the ends of books at all. They're going to be stored like this on the shelf. Um, something will be behind them, but I mean, that they look amazing. I mean, these together form this scene and I absolutely love these because I mean the the story is told in that shadow effect so this is absolutely perfect to depict that story love these guys these would probably be um, my favorite thing out of the box so far I absolutely love those I think they they did a fantastic job with them so great great stuff uh, we'll put that there actually and last but not least oh no i said that that was too soon um okay so this says advanced potion making um on this and it looks just like you know the advanced potion making book uh, the purple edition that uh, that harry found with all the cheats from from snape in there so uh, but it is something that opens up and I don't, oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'm not a huge puzzle guy, that's what this is. This is definitely a puzzle. Not a huge puzzle guy, but I will definitely end up putting this puzzle together just because I have it. And this is what I was talking about, right? So with subscription services, they can kind of be hit or miss. I mean, it's not always going to be everything that you want. This particular puzzle is of the room of requirements. This is going to look just like this. So I don't have anything with the exception of a really poor depiction of the room of requirements from Lego, um, which if you haven't seen the news, they are coming out with a new room of requirements for the, um, for the modular um, castle system and it looks amazing looks amazing that'll be coming out in March um, but back on to, to this topic so um, it is a puzzle of the room of requirements um, I will probably end up putting this together don't know what I'm gonna do with it um, I will figure that out when the time comes would I have chosen this particular item if I was just picking things off of their website no now I will tell you I love the box the box looks fantastic, and I will be displaying the box on my shelf because um, advanced potion making, I have not picked up that replica yet. I will be adding that one, the weathered, you know, like written one that you can flip through and read it. I mean, so it's it's literally just like what he had in the movie, and I think it looks amazing. There's a couple different places that offer that out there, um, but I will be adding that one. But love the box. Not a huge fan of the puzzle, but I will... I will put the puzzle together just because, again, I have it. So, I mean, it's, why not at this point? Um, all right, and then we're down to a couple different paper items. 
Um, here we've got the, again, the advertisement for this particular box, the legends and lore. You know, you've got the, the three brothers trying to cross the bridge where death is, is waiting. Um, very, very cute. Like, I like that a lot. Uh, really good looking. It's just like the top of, uh, of the box that they, they sent out to you. Um, and then we've got two cards. Oh, and they did just like they did before with the Basilisk. So we'll start here. So this is a card of Gellert Grindelwald, right? And then on the back, it says, Description, born 1882 or 1883, educated in the northernmost regions of Norway slash Sweden, an extremely talented wizard who possessed an attractive and winsome personality coupled with a merry, wild disposition. Best known for the most terrible dark wizard to exist before he who must not be named came into prominence. Strengths, brilliant, ambitious, highly intelligent, almost as magically skilled as the greatest headmaster of the British Magical School. Weaknesses, vain, arrogant, narcissistic, cruel, and believed himself to be superior to all other wizards. So, so great, great depiction. Um, I, I really like the card. I like the description on the back um, the most. I like all the little details that they put um, alongside of it. So it's, it's, I think this actually is pretty similar to the way it's decorated uh, to the one on the back of the, the basilisk. And, and yeah, I guess that must be um, like their standard decoration because they're decorated the same on the back. So uh, even though the, the description is different. This one is Nicholas Flamel. And on the back, the description says, Born in 1326, Nicholas Flamel was a historical figure who attended the French Academy of Magic and lived to be over 600 years old, one of the oldest wizards in history. Best known for... A famed alchemist, Nicholas was the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone and the Elixir of Life. He was also known for saving the city of Paris against Gellert Gwinderwald's uh, destructive black fire. Strengths, extensive knowledge, especially in alchemy and immense magical power. Weakness, self-doubt in his magical abilities. So, so two more, like figure cards to add to to the collection so uh all in all that's it guys that wraps up the legends and lore box by litjoy and honestly i'm not upset i i again i um they set the bar so high with the first box i received the dark arts box i mean if you haven't seen that box and you haven't seen that opening it's amazing everything in that box is spot on I, I could not have asked for a better way to start, but it sets the bar so high. So to compare that box with this box is unfair. I mean, it, it really is. This box is a great box. I I really like the, the pieces that came in. I mean, uh, you, the cup, the Sorcerer's Stone, the bookends that look absolutely amazing. The box, the box, okay, that, that the puzzle came in. I love um, puzzle, yeah, you know, well, like I said, not a huge puzzle guy, but again, not, not, not anything shabby about it. And then the, the little journal that you can scroll in. I mean, all in all guys, extremely happy with, uh, with this box. I don't see why I would so stop a subscription with these guys. So, um, I am completely looking forward to January and it'll probably be February because I know they say they start pushing out the orders in January and I didn't I said the same thing about the uh, dark arts box in November and I didn't get it until December. So I, I must be low on the totem pole, uh, but uh, that's okay. So I'm really excited for the, uh, the sweets box that's coming out in, um, in February and look forward to what they're going to put in there. Uh, some of the other things I'm also, I don't know if you're like me, I check LitJoy daily, uh, and the only reason I do that is because I worked really hard to collect all the keys, and I don't want to miss a key drop. I mean, if they push out a, a set of keys and, and I'm not 
able to get them before they sell out, I would be really angry because then you got to pay double, triple the price, you know, just to complete the collection. And you know me, I got to complete that collection. So, <laughs> uh, but give me a comment below, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Did, did you like this stuff? I mean, is there anything in here that you want to pick up? I believe now that I have seen everything that's in the box, I believe that all of this stuff is available to purchase individually on LitJoy's site. I think I have seen all of these things. Obviously, you, you can't get, you know, the little tail of the beetle, the bard, and, and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure they sell just the paper, you know, products like this uh, on there. I'll have to look into that. But I'm, I know you can buy the bookends. I know you can buy the journal. I know you can buy the, the Sorcerer's Stone. I know you can buy the mug. So, I mean, you can buy any of these items individually. And um, I, I think that, um, I mean, if, if that's something that you would be interested in doing rather than the subscription service, I understand. I get it. Like I said, subscription services are not for everyone. Um, I wanted to give them a shot. And so far, I am still very happy with what LitJoy has to offer. And I am looking forward to future boxes from them. So, um, but that's all I've got, guys. Um, until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.